everybody welcome back to my channel it's yes man today we are making a silicone hand i thought of this idea um and i thought i had the most prolific idea but it's already been done uh, by one of my favorite nail youtubers nao nails i will link all of her information down below um so yeah so i'm going in i'm going to be using my daughter's hand in this video to create this first prototype um, as you can see in this video, I have my nails done from my China nail set, so I couldn't quite use my hand. Um, so what I'm doing is I have this water. This is a no-slip uh, spray gun container. Um, and it, at the end of the video, you'll see how perfect it works. Um, so I'm just going to be going in and adding the alginate powder. Uh, Amazon sent me the wrong one, but they rectified it and then they sent me another pack of it. Um, just do your research. Alginate and silicone work best together. Um, and the silicone I use is from clonawilly.com. You don't have to buy the Willy kit. Uh, you can just buy the silicone, and that's what I went on ahead and did. My idea behind making the silicone hand for myself was a lot of uh, nail vloggers and nail enthusiasts, they go out and buy a regular silicone hand, and I think that's awesome, but I was like, there's got to be a cost-effective way, and I wanted something to be unique. So initially I was looking to try and find an SFX artist to try and make one for me with my tattoos and the colored skin I wanted, um, but I wasn't having any luck. So I went on ahead and bought the silicone and everything I needed to mold, and this is where we ended up. So in this clip you see me here mixing up the alginate. It's color coated, so it's pink, and then it turns white when it sets up. So I'm just giving this a good stir and then um, we're going to be dipping our hand in. So as you can see I'm just carefully dipping her hand into the alginate and um, you don't want it touching the sides or pressed up against the sides of any of the containers that you're using so I highly advise if you're doing this make sure you can try and find a clear container because then that way you're going to be able to see whether or not you're touching the sides um, if you are touching the sides it's going to create a hole in the alginate so then when you go to pour your silicone or whatever you are casting it will create a hole um, so that part will not cast properly so just you got to really make sure um, next time I'm going to be doing this on myself, <laughs> so right now you see I'm holding my daughter's hand because she's very fidgety, so I had to like hold her hand in place. Um, so here you can see it's starting to turn white, um, and you can see it's kind of chunky as well. doesn't matter that it's chunky, it will set properly and it will not give any weird results, so just trust me on that. Now it is fully set um, and I'm going to gently, <laughs> gently, gently, gently unmold her hand. Um, the best way to do this is literally just really gently do it. Um, if you and somebody else are doing it, then two hands are definitely better than one in this process. So as you see, I'm just gently squeezing the container with her hand and that's just me loosening up the suction that the alginate has made around her hand. Alginate is kind of like a cross between jello and that stuff that you get when you mix cornstarch and water. So it's firm and kind of gelatinous at the same time, but more on the firm side. So just be very careful because this stuff does break. It doesn't uh, tear like jello. It like breaks apart so just be very careful when you're unmolding the hand um, and you do want to break that suction both times both when you're unmolding a hand and when you're unmolding whatever you put in it there's going to be a suction that needs to be broken um, so yeah so just keep that in mind
All right, we're getting closer. Um, a lot of that footage before was just me really just trying to loosen up the hand. Um, and you really want to make sure that that suction releases and that hand will release so much easier. Um, and again, the reason why that big chunk is coming out is I used a non-slip spray paint container, um, spray paint gun container. So um, get your hand on that. You can get them at Home Depot. I'll, again, I'll link everything I use in the description box below if you want to try this. Um, we're just getting her hand out here. Pop, see, there she goes. This is just such a sensory, it was like a sensory uh, experience for her. She really liked it. So we've got the hand out. Um, it's a beautiful, clean mold, and you will see the end result. It is definitely worth it. So here I have the silicone. Um, I chose purple. Uh, that was on the advice of my friend and my sister. Um, so it the, comes with a clear and the base color. So you're going to just mix the equal parts of those and they already come pre-measured uh, for your convenience. So you pour one in and you pour the other one and then you're just going to see me here um, just mixing it. It says to mix for two minutes and then you pour it into the mold. last drop counts. <laughs> no, not really. It doesn't make a huge difference. So here I'm just mix, I mix, I mix, I mix, I mix, I mix for two minutes about, give or take. This is sped up, so I don't know. Don't make a liar of me, but I mixed it until there was no, like, clear streaking into the purple, and I figured, hey, that was good enough. And then be careful, because as you're mixing, it does start to get thick. Um, so I would just mix it until it's all incorporated by eye, and then start pouring um, it as soon as you can. obviously now I'm going on ahead and I'm pouring my mixture into this mold and making sure I get all the finger holes first I'm not even focusing on the actual hand part I'm mainly focusing on the finger holes then you want to pour it and get as much as you can out
Now here toward the end, as you can see, the mixture is very sticky. Um, it's starting to set. So the instructions say to let it set for 24 hours. Um, honestly, after two hours, because I'm a child, I was poking it and it was firm. So give it the full 24 hours because I don't know what would have happened if I would have tried to mold after two hours. But just give it the full 24 hours. But in this clip, I wanted to let you know, as you see, it's starting to get stringy. So I'm assuming this sets up very quickly. I didn't even finish using what was in the cup because it just started getting stringy and messy. So right here you see me just kind of banging um, the bubbles out. Sorry if it's kind of shaking, but um, I didn't want to stabilize. I've noticed when I stabilize footage, it kind of weirdly crops it. So I'm just banging out the air bubbles. I took it off camera and did it onto the side as well. This is just another poor porn angle. Oh, yeah, we like that. I'll let you enjoy it. Honestly, just liked this angle too, so I wanted to add it. I know people, some people like watching things get poured, <laughs> so I wanted to add it. I, I have like a weird thing where I do like watching stuff like this get poured, so I figured I would add this angle as well, and I had it, so why not? Let's get weird, let's get funky, and you can see exactly everything I did. You can see how stringy and weird it started getting. Um, yeah, so that's when I kind of tapped out. This is a really good project, honestly, if you are just crafty, if you want to do something with your kids. And weirdly enough, this was <laughs> in the interim of us making this hand. Um, it's just, it was kind of just floating around the house. My son is teething and he loves it. <laughs> so we're seeing here, this is kind of looking like what the product is intended for. It's not, it's her hand. Um, I'm just kind of picking out the alginate so it doesn't cure into the uh, silicone and just making sure that everything is copacetic so that we try and have a good time in molding and not a horrible, horrendous time. Trust me, this portion is crucial. Picking out all that little nasties is crucial because it will help in the long term when you go to unmold. So it's the next day. I'm um, sorry if I look crazy. I was feeding the baby. I just did a, knew I was filming today because I have to unmold this. So we did a hand mold yesterday. We did my daughter Sky's hand in alginate. I'm hoping it turns out. And then we did it purple. And we have been chomping at the bit to unmold this. So we're gonna go on ahead and. So it's back to voiceover me. Um, I'm, I'm doing voiceover over this part because baby was crying in the background, kids are yelling, yada, yada, yada. I film when I can, get in where you fit in. So lay a towel down. Um, overnight, the alginate gets wet, like literally like wet. There's pools of water. Um, this non-slip container really helped because I was able to just dump it out without it sticking. Um, and then I wanted to try and save the mold, but I found out very quickly that it was pointless. So if you want to just break the alginate apart, it's way faster, um, same result. But I thought I was going to be able to like save the mold and reuse it if I wanted to. But it was weird because it was like as soon as I took the hand out, the mold started shrinking. Um, I guess because the moisture in it started like evaporating. So just keep that in mind. So if you're going to try and reuse your alginate mold, put it back in that container. Maybe spray it with some water or something. Um, I don't know. Maybe Google it. This is just me off the top of my head that it likes moisture, it's alginate, whatever. 
and then you might be able to reuse it but for my purpose I really didn't need to reuse it because the next mold I'm doing is going to be my full hand so I ended up just throwing it away here is the final product it looks great um, it is so detailed um, it is a little shiny but I did uh, off camera, I didn't do it on this video, but just kind of testing it for filming, I did powder it. Um, so that helped with the shine. But this is so detailed. It literally is a dream. Uh, the total product cost me about a hundred, just barely under a hundred dollars. The alginate powder was $21, which you can get it cheaper. There was a whole story to that I don't like getting into. Um, and then the silicone from clonawilly.com just only was $75. So, I mean, this works. I'm going to have my husband make a stand, um, as you see how I'm like clamping it with my hands. But I was thinking about adding an armature. I really don't even think that's necessary. Um, but yeah, this, this works. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment below and stay tuned for part two of this video. All right guys, so that was the end of the experiment. And I'm sorry, this video might be all over the place. I've had the help of my mini helpers here at the house. Baby's crying right now. Uh, they were literally chomping at the bit to, to mold this. So um, I think we did a pretty good job. There's not very many air pockets or bubbles or anything like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm pleasantly surprised so if you don't have two hundred dollars or more to spend on a fake hand just get you some silicone from the website i'm going to list down below and some alginate from amazon and make yourself your own mold but until next week thanks for watching